Hello, Abby here of Police Borough Website Design and Hosting, and I'm going to explain to you the difference between a website designer and a website developer. Now, for me, I use those two terms interchangeably because for the last 26 years, I've been both a website designer and a website developer. What that means is I design the websites and I build the websites I design. But some people are just website designers and some people are just website developers. So people that are just website designers, they design the look and feel of the site based on the branding. They focus on the fonts, make sure everything's legible and they use interfaces and to make sure that the website works both on portrait, which you might be watching this on a mobile phone right now, or on landscape, so you've got more of a horizontal view. They design the websites to work on all those different forms and they are in, you know, concerned with the way the, the website looks rather than how it works. So a website developer builds the site. So if you think of the relationship between um, an architect and a builder, it's kind of similar. An architect doesn't tend to put the bricks in place, but a developer does. So a developer builds the site, looks at the visuals. OK, they want it that font, that colour this layout, they go away and build it. They might have a conversation, and I've been in this situation where I've been the website developer for a designer that's designed stuff, and I've come back to them and say, that's not gonna work because mobiles don't work like that, or there's there's this issue, that issue, that's gonna take long to download, we need to change that, we need to change this. There needs to be communication between the two parties. Uh, likewise, I've been the designer working with a developer and I've usually said, is this all right? Is this going to work? Because I'm the developer right as well. I know the kinds of challenges that developers have. So I would call myself a website designer and front end website developer, maybe towards the middle. It's not very often I outsource to website developers, have done in the past for really big sites, really big meaty stuff that I know would be better done by someone else or be done faster and better. So. You either outsource or you learn stuff that you don't already know how to do. So in that case, I, did, I tended to outsource. But 99.9% of the time, I am building and designing websites. So that's the difference between a website designer and a website developer. Some of us are both. Some, some of them are two separate entities altogether. I hope that explains things. And uh, comment below if any of that didn't make sense.